Good day. Um, we are, I'm going to present on behalf of myself, David Nyawadza and Mary Kajge. Uh, we are going to present to you Kakinos, uh, which is a software that was developed uh, to show uh, ha ethical hacking, um, ethical hacking uh, um, uh, tools. So it has got four uh, tools that we can use, the encode or decode uh, function, then the encryption and decryption, then uh, we have uh, modules here, and then we have uh, crack and generate hashes. I'm going to start with uh, encode or decode. So on encoding, uh, there are a number of algorithms, the B64, HEX, URI, and ROT13. I'm going to demonstrate to you B64. Um, so we click on encode, and we put the information that we want to 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 encode. So I have just written David Nyawaza and Mary Kaje. Um, if you then click go, it then uh, produces the output, which is the information that has been encoded. So no one without this P64 algorithm will be able to decode um, this information. I'm going to copy to clipboard and then click on decode to demonstrate um, that this this information is uh, actually the one that we have encoded and if we click go you will then see that the output then um, becomes the uh, input that we we actually encoded if you remove some information from this text and click um, on go you will realize that you would have removed some information and you can get a sense or meaning out of uh, this information this is a, a way different from encryption and decryption uh, which I'm going to, to 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 present now. So on encryption and decryption, um, we are going to use the AES um, algorithm, and uh, I'm going to put the text that I want to encrypt. So it's the same, David Nyawodza, Mary Kajke, um, ethical hacking assignment, ethical hacking assignment. Um, I'm, you then have to specify the mode that you want to use, the CBC key size 20, 28, um, then the password, it requires the uh, CBC uh, with key size 128, it requires a 16 character password, so that's the password that I've inputted, and you click on encrypt. So if you click on encrypt, it then produces this output. Um, so to then show uh, the decryption function, I'm going. I'm just going to copy this um, output and click on decrypt, paste the um, output, and then I have to select the same the same input function input parameters, and then click decrypt. A and you can see that uh, the information that we put on the first uh, on the first uh, on encryption is actually the information that we have on output uh, however if you remove anything from this um from this text to decrypt you will realize that even if you have the rest of the information correct and you click on decrypt it will not give you anything because uh, the characters or the text to decrypt is no longer the same um then i will move on to modules and what i want to focus on is port scanning so on port scanning, um, this is the page and we have to launch our, our scanner. So if you launch our scanner and then it sh gives you um, an option or a listening server that you have to open. And then I click here. So on the right side, I have to put the scanner configuration and I'm going to put my host, which is 192.168.168.35, which is my... Um, it is my the IP the IP or host name is my IP address for this laptop that I'm using and I want to scan from ports one to six thousand and I'm going to use the maximum threads which is three hundred and I want to use the maximum time out. I'll just click on start and um, scanning is going to be done uh, at the back end and there is a console that we can check. Uh, that will be producing the the, uh, the real time output, but we are just going to wait for the output on the right side uh, of the port scanner.
So after uh, a successful scanning, we, the output is then shown on the um, on the left side. And let me just increase this. So we can see that there are um, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine ports which are opened from um, port one to port six thousand. So we can then see that uh, from this output. Um, as a network administrator, you, the, you then have to make sure that all these ports are secure and they are not prone to um, and they are not prone to any other um, any other attack uh, to ensure maximum security. Uh, thank you. This is for our ethical hacking too. Um,